Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me this afternoon. My name is Laura Kolsar and today I will be giving an informative speech about the late scientist Nikola Tesla. Today we will be speaking about Tesla's early life, his professional life, as well as his late life preceding his death. Some of you may be familiar with the name Nikola Tesla. Uh, if not, uh, we can speak to a few technologies um, that we use in our present day that actually Tesla laid the groundwork and pioneered. Uh, if you've ever heard of Tesla Motors, uh, the motor company that is gaining quite rapidly in popularity, uh, this motor company was actually named with Tesla in mind. Uh, we can also speak to the Wi-Fi on our cell phones, uh, the wireless technology that enables us to communicate was actually pioneered by Tesla. Um, so our cell phones are connected to Wi-Fi, our computers are connected to Wi-Fi. Um, it's truly amazing the inventions that this man thought of um, almost over 120 years ago and how we use them in our present day lives. Nikola Tesla was born in 1856 in what is now known as modern day Croatia. He was one of five children to a Serbian Orthodox family. His father was actually a Serbian Orthodox priest um, who would have preferred for Tesla to uh, take the path to priesthood. However, Tesla was preoccupied by learning and science, um, which led him to become a scientist later on um, in his life. Tesla studied at university in Germany, Prague, and Austria. It was actually in university that Tesla developed a gambling problem, which led him to lose um, his, actually his entire tuition uh, that caused him to drop out of college completely. After dropping out of college, uh, Tesla moved to Budapest, where he worked for um, the Central Telephone Exchange. However, it was a very short period of time that he worked in Budapest. Um, after a failed invention of it, the induction motor, um, he decided to move to the United States. And so in 1884, Tesla arrived in the United States um, where he was introduced to Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison became very fond of Tesla's work and ideas, and they began working together side by side. It was shortly after they began working side by side that it was became apparent that they had um, differing ideals, ideals um, as well as work ethics. Um, by this point in time, Thomas Edison uh, was more of a mogul, and he was more interested in making money rather than progressing um, in science. And obviously. As we become to know, as we come to know Tesla, um, he was very interested in the progression of science and how he could trib could contribute to the community. Uh, because of their um, differing ideals, uh, Edison eventually let Tesla go. It was after this that Tesla uh, gained funding for the Tesla Electricity Company. Um, unfortunately, at this time, uh, it was not a fruitful venture for Tesla. He was actually forced out of the company um, before any real progress was made. It was not shortly after that that Tesla gained more funding for his own company, where he would start working on wireless technology and um, what we know as the Tesla coil. His idea was to provide free electricity worldwide. Um, he also, with this wireless technology, wanted to provide wireless communication worldwide as well. Um, so it's amazing because this technology he thought of in 1898 and how different our lives could be um, actually, you know, if that, if that technology had been used in the 1900s leading up to 120 years later today. Uh, Tesla, eventually, his uh, patent was purchased for his wireless technology. It was purchased for $60,000, which is quite a bit of money uh, back in the early 1900s. Um, and unfortunately, we uh, don't see Tesla's name attached to any of this because the patents um, were put in other people's names. 
um, Tesla eventually, after being forced out of this company, suffered a nervous breakdown. Um, he decided to move to New York City. He lived alone in a New York City hotel. Um, he is actually his best friends became park pigeons. Um, he became a recluse and he was really um, excluded from the scientific community after suffering um, his uh, nervous breakdown. And unfortunately, he did pass away alone and penniless in New York City. And in following his death, he was still not regarded as a brilliant man or scientist in the United States um, in the scientific community. So it's really amazing to think about this man and all of the progress that has been made scientifically because of him and all of the technology that is readily available to us and how different our lives would be if uh, Nikola Tesla did not um, exist and if he did not pursue scientific progress. Um, we wouldn't, may, we might not have cell phones, we might not have Wi-Fi. If you've ever broken a bone, you might not have been able to get that x-ray. So it's truly amazing to think about this, how this one person co contributed so much to our lives and how, how much um, our lives are different because of him. So if you're ever thinking about how your Wi-Fi is working or if you're explaining it to somebody, make mention of Nikola Tesla and how he uh, really has changed our lives for the better. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this informative speech today. And everybody have a great weekend.